Post-traumatic stress disorder, it's as profound and debilitating as any disease. But what if doctors could simply erase all of those traumatic memories? Dr. Alain Brunet is a researcher at McGill University. In a recent study, he wanted to identify which brain cells a particular memory attaches to and artificially manipulate those cells with a common drug. All of the participants were united by memories they would rather soon forget. For example, sudden abandonment or infidelity. Over the course of four to six sessions, Dr. Brunet had subjects take propranolol, a common, inexpensive blood pressure pill that also helps make memories more malleable by interfering with proteins in the brain. Subjects then read aloud from a typescript they had written themselves, a first-person account of a breakup with as many emotional details as possible. The idea was to purposely reactivate the memory and bring the person back to the experience all over again by asking them, how did you feel about that? How do you feel right now? And most importantly, has your memory changed since last week? Dr. Brunet hasn't published his results, but he says that participants couldn't believe the change over such a short period of time. And he isn't the only one experimenting with memories. His study owed much to American-Canadian neurosurgeon Wilder Penfield. He was one of the first to hint at where memories are stored in the brain. When Penfield stimulated cells in the hippocampus of people who were undergoing surgery for epilepsy in the 1940s with mild jolts of electricity, memories of actual experiences suddenly popped into their minds. Dr. Brunet isn't interested in scrubbing out painful memories entirely. He says the idea of memory erasure unnerves him. Instead, he hopes to help those suffering from crippling anxiety, depression, or other symptoms of PTSD. After all, without good and bad memories, it's hard to imagine how we would know how to behave.